In this video, you will learn the basics of surviving your life in middle school. Step one, learn your schedule. You don't want to look stupid. Step two, you're a sixth grader. Don't think you're anything because you're not. Join something, but not everything. Don't sit there and join band, choir, and art because you think you're a multitasking god. It's not going to work. Man, it's already 5.30. I just finished the class, and now I've got to do my art first. Oh. Always remember to do your work. Otherwise, you have to sit here and catch up on it all like this. Hey, man, did you finish the Spanish homework yet? There was Spanish homework? No. How did you forget about the Spanish don't get up in a coach's face. It'll just result in more exercise and don't argue with one either. Why do you have to yell at coach? Because he's mean. Never forget your earbuds or your charger. You're going to regret it in the long run. Hey man, uh, I left my earbuds at home. You got any extra pair? No. Never let anyone know you have food. They'll just hoard you like a bunch of lions on a dead carcass. Ooh, cool. Can I have some? No. Oh. Always take sarcasm as your second language because nothing beats it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me lay out the red carpet for you, my lord. If you can find time to do your homework before school ends, then go ahead and do it. Get Always bring a jacket to school. Some rooms are freezing cold and some rooms are burning hot. Hi, this is Miss Head and uh, some tips I have for some sixth graders coming in uh, is the first thing is not to be afraid. Middle school is just like going to school in elementary school. The only thing is you're not top dog anymore. You're back down at the bottom and you have to build your way back up until you get to eighth grade. At Northridge, we have um, some guidelines that you follow. It's called the Ridge Way. And it, once you learn the Ridge Way, you will have it down pat and you'll have no problems at all. All the teachers here are here to work with you. Um, well, let's think. Great place to be, one of the best schools I've ever taught at. But uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you, and make sure you come for orientation so that you can get your schedule and know what's going on. So, have a good summer. So, do you have any tips for um, upcoming sixth graders? I think the main thing of uh, sixth graders coming in, be open-minded and stuff. Get plenty of rest at night. Uh, when you come, at, come in, you know, reach out to uh, new people and stuff. Listen to what your teacher is telling you to do. Uh, there is a little transition period, a couple weeks, but you'll start to uh, feel at home and get in around and stuff. And uh, just stay focused. And if you have questions or you're not sure about things, just ask and uh, just uh, make it work. Feel like it's your home after a while. Are there any teachers that you think that the students should look out for? I could probably miss Peru. <laughs> so, Miss Flowers, do you have any tips for upcoming sixth graders? I do. First tip would be come with your pleasant, positive attitude. Second tip would be come prepared and know that the stakes are high and that you're going to do very well because you know that you're going to prepare too well. So come with an open mind, come prepared, come ready to listen, show respect, and uh, be organized. Come prepared and be organized. All right, thank you. Hello, my name is Senora Tarver. If I could give you a tip, it would be to always be in dress code. Make sure your shorts are no shorter than four inches from the top of the knee. Make sure all straps on your shoulders are at least four fingertips wide. Do not wear Nike shorts. Ever. No one likes walking away.